Do you want to say hello to the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you the work that's been going on in the garage. Oh, oh you're in bed. Oh. oh. <laughs> it feels like clothing on your feet. It's amazing. Yeah, am I turning into a fashion blogger? <laughs> you just wait, this will be an actual room one day. Good morning, everyone. I've chucked you underneath the steering wheel because it's the only place that you will stay. And I was rushing. Oh gosh, look, you no, you definitely don't stay. Um, I was rushing this morning, so I didn't have a chance to vlog before I left the house. I'm heading to uh, Travose National Trust near Padstow uh, because my friend Zana and also Tally and Vic are all down with their partners for a holiday in Cornwall, and I really wanted to see um, to see them whilst they're here. So we're going to have a fun day. We're going for a walk, have some lunch, maybe the beach. And I'm really excited and yeah, it should be really fun. Look out, here she comes. Never know. Yeah, I can't tell. Do you want to say hello to the vlog? <laughs> hello to the vlog. <laughs> I'm here with Zana. I'm having the best time. <laughs> it's the best time exploring on the headland. I have no idea where we are. Where are we? <laughs> Is it Travose? Is that what it's called? Near Padstow? And it's gorgeous. With everyone else? We've got a gang. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do walk, lunch, beach. Just enjoy the sun because it feels like summer. But it's summer, it's summer. It does, it's beautiful. Do yeah. <laughs> Got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that Oxy, what are you doing this for? Is this a treasure? Very biscuits. Oh, this is this is boredom. Can you please walk me on this beach? Is it? Yes. Oh my god, this is too good. <laughs> oh, oh made a bed. Oh. oh that's what she wanted. Roxy, you made yourself a cold bed. Oh my god, why is she so cute? Hubby! You've done it again, woman! Good morning. It's the next day and I desperately need to tidy this room, my kitchen. It's just been a couple of days of um, just coming home, just throwing things down and being busy that I don't have time to clean up after myself. So I'm gonna tidy up this room and then I'm gonna show you some um, packages I got from Vivea because they sent me some shoes and I'm absolutely in love with them. And I wanna show you them because they're beautiful and they're all sustainably made. So we'll go through those in a second. Look at this. There's even a pile of sand on the floor when I took my swimsuit off and there was loads of sand inside my swimsuit. <laughs> So the room is now 95% tidy, apart from a bit of washing I've got to put away. But I'm gonna show you the shoes now that I mentioned before that I've got to unbox. A few of them I have been wearing for like the last month or so, including these ones that I've got on now. Um, but I'll unbox the ones I haven't worn and I'll show you the ones I actually wore over the last week because they sent them to me like a couple weeks ago. And I've actually got loads of wear out of the new ones that um, they sent me because they're just so beautiful I couldn't not wear them. But I want to talk to you a little bit about Vivea and what they do, who they are, because I love introducing you to new sustainable brands and I know that lots of you are asking for them. And the cool thing about this brand is that they ship worldwide, which I know is really important because so many of you are from all over the world. And they also ship worldwide for free, 
which is great. But the thing that I love the most about them is the fact that all their shoes are made from recycled bottles. So one pair of shoes recycles six plastic bottles. Their insoles are made from carbon-free rubber. Um, their other materials like these espadrilles, they've got jute in them, are natural. Their packaging is all recycled um, packaging and they are ethical. So they're sourcing and being mindful of their supply chain where everything is being made and if it's you know a factory that they can support and if they're making them properly and well and they're just a really really great brand with an amazing arrange, arrange, array, I was combining range and array there, uh, an amazing range of shoes, that's another thing that I really think is important when it comes to a sustainable brand, is creating shoes or clothes or whatever it is that is timeless because you don't want to have something that's too trend led that will go out of fashion, you want things that are going to be good for the future, that are going to wear, you're going to wear them year after year because they are just timeless classic beautifully made clothing or shoes. I'm going to show you the outfits with each of these shoes and a bit more about each of the shoes because I love them. So this is what I'm actually wearing today. Can you see my shoes? No you can't. This is what I'm wearing today. It's my dress from Sea Salt and honestly these shoes go with everything but I think they work perfectly with a lightweight dress especially as we're going into autumn. I know the espadrilles are more of a summer shoe but I personally will wear this transitioning into the colder months because yesterday and today for example has been really hot. I actually sunburnt my face yesterday because it was so warm and there's still time to wear these kinds of shoes and also I kind of wear them around the house as a really comfy pair of shoes because they are just gorgeous. I love them so much. I'm going to wear them year after year. I know I'll take them on holiday with me. I've wanted a pair of espadrilles like this for a while but all the ones I've owned in the past have not lasted, have not been good quality. These are such amazing quality. Like I said, I have literally been wearing them, I would say every other day or so, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm at home, typically I'm putting these ones on because it feels a little bit nicer than wearing slippers if I've got tradesmen at the house. <laughs> um, obviously they're much nicer than the slippers, but it just, they, they're basically slippers when you wear them because they're super comfortable. And the thing about all of their shoes is the upper, the part that's made from recycled plastic, is this beautiful knit that feels like clothing. So it feels like your shoes are wearing a piece of clothing, if that makes any sense, because it feels like it's a jumper or like a, a top. It's so comfortable. It's just the most comfortable material I've ever had in shoes. Usually with shoes, it's not this kind of material. It's not a knitted fabric, which makes it so lovely. And I love the fact that it's made from recycled plastic. These are made from jute around here and also the carbon free rubber on the outsoles. And another good thing about all their shoes I noticed when I was wearing them is the insoles are really cushiony and really comfortable. I am just reaching the age now that I just want comfort in all of my clothing, all of my shoes. And these feel like you're just stepping on a cushion. And it's made from a mix of natural herbal and PU foam that is deodorizing, it's supportive, it's comfortable, and it's more eco-friendly than the standard insoles that you get in other shoes. And also it's moisture wicking, which is important because you don't want smelly shoes and smelly feet. But yeah, here's one way to style them. I genuinely think that you could style these with absolutely anything because they are just timeless, simple, neutral shoes that look great. And I wear them all the time with any outfit. I don't really have to think about it. You know those shoes where you just shove them on because they go with everything. These are those. Right, two things I'm gonna preface before I show you this outfit is, one, ignore my underwear because I'm not changing my underwear <laughs> for the sake of this. And number two, ignore how creased it is because linen is so creased. And this is what I wore over the weekend. I actually had a different shirt on. Where is that shirt? I actually had a different shirt on, but I wore that yesterday, um, my Stay Wild Swim one. But it's downstairs and it's a little bit wet, so I'm gonna show you it with this one. But I wore this at the weekend, this exact outfit, for a 60th birthday party um, in my family. And it was really fun weekend party and the theme was on holiday. So obviously lots of us haven't been able to go on holiday this summer. So they wanted to throw a party that had fun summer vibes. And I just dressed in an outfit that I would wear on holiday. There were lots more creative costumes at the, at the party, like amazing um, high-waisted shorts with socks and sandals and <laughs> funny outfits. But I just went for something quite simple what I would wear to go for dinner on holiday that because I, I haven't been this year so this is what I would wear my shirt from from the weekend was a, a sort of darker 
oatmeal-y kind of colour, I would say, or grey kind of colour. You saw it yesterday, probably. Um, and both of these are from Linen Fox. I love Linen Fox. Yeah, please excuse the black underwear, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's a jumpsuit, and I think these shoes just work really perfectly with it. They just elevate the whole look, make it go from being a bit more casual to being a little bit more formal, and yet there's only a tiny little heel. And they're so comfortable, I wore them all evening, we were there up until like 2 in the morning, didn't feel like I was wearing shoes to be honest, felt like I had slippers on, again, so so comfortable, the insole inside makes such a difference, and I'm not just saying that, like I genuinely haven't owned more comfortable shoes than these, they are so so comfortable, and nothing rubbed, considering it was the first time I had worn them, Nothing rubbed, nothing. I'm just so impressed. And these shoes in particular are made from vegan leather, but it's really, really beautiful vegan leather. It looks like real leather. And again, the top is made from six recycled plastic bottles, which is so cool. I absolutely love them. I love the color, beautiful warm tan color, can go with anything. I'm gonna probably wear these um, for the next month or two as well, because it's that lovely orangey tone that works great in the autumn. So I think I would probably wear these in the autumn with a pair of black trousers and a jumper or a pair of black trousers, a t-shirt and a cardigan. And it would be nice to go out for dinner in or to just go out for the day if it's not too cold, but you wanna, you know, wear some nice shoes. And I just absolutely adore them. I think they would look, I really wanna get a pair of like flared trousers, you know, because I'm seeing loads of girls wearing them at the minute and I think they're really cool. And I think these would look great with kind of cropped flared trousers, like culotte style, um, because that would be very cool girl, very trendy. But yeah, this is the second outfit. Right, second outfit is a comfy outfit, something that I would wear traveling. I was, when I put this outfit on, I was like, this is something I'd wear to the airport and travel in on holiday. I actually wore this exact outfit the other day when I was driving, where was I driving? I was driving somewhere that took a bit of time and I wore this because it was super comfortable. And these are the trainers. I love these, they're so timeless, they're so classic. And my other pair of trainers that I've had for, I think about three or four years now, annoyingly, there has the eyelets on them. So these don't actually have eyelets, so that's kind of great. Because the eyelets on my other pair of shoes got rusty. And I don't know why I've cleaned them so many times, um, the sole is also kind of coming loose a little bit because they're the only pair of like white trainers that I own. So I really needed to replace them and these are absolutely perfect. They're a bit different because they have brown colors along them, which I actually prefer because it feels like I have more leeway with getting them dirty because when you have perfectly pristine white trainers, they don't stay that way. And I feel like when there's a bit of color going on, and I also feel like it's gonna suit a lot of outfits. I just love them, they give me sort of a 70s vibe. I love the shape, I love everything about them. They're extremely comfortable. They're also made from the same fabric that is made from recycled plastic bottles. They've got the herbal um, insole, the carbon-free outsole, and they're just extremely comfortable. When you wear the shoes, you know that all their shoes have that same material and it's their thing, that everything is made from this beautiful recycled plastic bottle fabric that just is so comfortable. It feels like clothing on your feet. It's amazing. This tracksuit is from Pangea or Pangea, Pangea? I think it's Pangea. Um, it's actually, I feel like I wish I got it in a size down. It's extremely comfortable, but I feel like it's a bit, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> Maybe that gives off a kind of very laid back vibe. But I just think that this outfit works so well because of this kind of caramelly color, this creamy color goes really great with browns. And I just think it feels like you're wearing something that's lovely, but also really comfortable. I'm in love with them. I'm just like checking them out in the mirror. I just think they're so cool. So, so cool. This whole, this whole set. Again, it's very creased. Why is it so creased? Yeah, I just, I love it. And this also, this brand's um, a great sustainable brand if you're looking for a tracksuit, but yeah, am I turning into a fashion blogger? <laughs> Thing is though, I'm not a fashion blogger, but everybody wears clothes and I love to talk about sustainable brands and obviously the most sustainable thing is the clothes you already have in your wardrobe. But it, 
I'm wanting to show you these brands if you are looking specifically for something like me looking for a pair of new white trainers because my other ones have had it and I've had them for years but I think it was actually my mistake I think I got them wet and that's why that they've rusted but it really makes them look pretty gross when you wear them um and yeah they're, they're just falling apart so if you are on the lookout specifically for a new pair I want to introduce you to these brands so you can be like right that's a brand that I know is sustainably made ethically made and it's good quality and I can have them for years like I hope that these will last another few years like the other ones did and they'll be my white pair of shoes that I can wear with lots of outfits. For my next outfit, I'm really jumping ahead into autumn and winter, but I couldn't not bring this dress out because it just makes me feel autumn and winter and Christmassy and lovely. And I've worn it for Christmas the last two years, I think, on Christmas day. Um, but also I would wear it in autumn and winter just because it's that beautiful, lovely, red velvet colour and it's from Thought Clothing and I adore it, it's got pockets, it's really soft and lovely and this is what I would imagine wearing these kinds of shoes with so these are really really cool V cut out shoes with a teeny tiny little block heel, I wouldn't really call it a heel but it has that at the bottom and I find them very flattering on your legs, I always like pointy toed flats because when you're wearing flats sometimes it's because um, especially smart flats like this it's because you don't really want to wear heels but it gives the feeling that you have heels on because of the the pointed toe and it's the same exact material on the outside that recycled bottle fabric I love them they come in a few different colors and I just think they're just very classic very minimal and I don't actually own a pair of black flats but it's something that very often I feel like I need because there are things that go on in the evenings and I've only got boots and I'm like I really don't want to wear big chunky boots I want to wear something a bit more feminine and dainty and years ago when I decluttered a lot of my wardrobe I decluttered a lot because a lot of the shoes I bought in the past were poor quality and they weren't comfortable they didn't look good with certain outfits and now these kinds of shoes I can have in my wardrobe for a very long time because they are just classic flats that are going to go with everything. I love them. I feel like these shoes and um, the mules are very Alexa Chung. I know this outfit probably isn't, but she's much cooler than I am, but. <laughs> and finally, this is my last outfit. This is an outfit I wear all the time, even in the summer, because it's not that warm sometimes in the UK, but something I'm probably gonna be wearing a lot in the months to come. Both the jumper and the trousers are from Organic Basics. A really nice autumnal colour. This is made from recycled wool and then the trousers are I think made from tensile. They're really comfortable and then the shoes I feel like the colour of them goes really well with the jumper and the navy because they're like a lighter blue. I think it's called denim blue this colour and these are just ballerina flats with a square toe and they've kind of got a loafer shape to them like this little lip here for the top and it's again same material same um, recycled plastic bottle fabric and they're just very like the, you see how they're just so moldable and squishable and just that's how they feel on your feet and these are very comfortable i chose the blue because i have a lot of neutrals i have a lot of uh black cream brown gray that kind of thing in my shoes but i don't have a pair of blue shoes which i wear i it's going to work pretty well because i wear a lot of blue i have a lot of navy in my wardrobe and with an outfit like this it's kind of a bit more of a simple outfit that i could wear day to day but the blue shoes just make it look a little bit more exciting, I think. Also, I feel like this would go really, really well with white. So I'm going to try something white on with this because I feel like blue and white look great together. So this is a t-shirt from Linen Fox. I've got this in black and white. You could tuck it in, but it's already a very boxy shape. So it kind of is cropped anyway. And you see, I just think that navy, blue and white look really great together. And then throw on a cardigan in grey, kind of suits the undertones. This is from Nobody's Child, I think. Um, and yeah, that's another really casual outfit. I, I used to be very experimental with my outfit choices. And sometimes I go on TikTok or I go on Instagram and I'm like, that's how I used to dress. <laughs> And I feel old because I see these girls wearing really cool thrifted outfits of like really out there jackets and amazing dresses and funky shoes and just 
even though I'm funky, it's old, isn't it? Like, I look at that and I'm just... I just think I used to dress that way and part of me wishes I had a little bit more fun in my wardrobe but also this is just the reality of my life. I want to put on a pair of comfortable trousers, a comfortable top, a comfortable cardigan, comfortable shoes and call it a day and not have to think about it. Though I would like a bit more fun in my wardrobe, I must admit. I would like to get some more fun um, thrifted secondhand dresses or something. Anyway, sidetrack. So I'll leave these all linked below including my outfits as well. If any of you want to check any of this out, Vivea do ship for free worldwide. Highly recommend, love their shoes, and thank you to them for sending me them and giving them a go, giving them a try. And now I'm like fully stocked for my shoe wardrobe. I'm gonna have so many different options and it's, yeah, wonderful. And they're timeless and classic and sustainable. So go check them out. I'm not cut out for taking care of technology. Alex usually is the one who charges all the batteries. Bobby. But I forgot, so this battery might die. Foxy, let's go look around the garage. So I'm gonna keep you very close because I don't like showing too much of the front of our house. I wanna show you the work that's been going on in the garage. This is the outside of the garage. The roof is a work in progress. These doors soon will be going and this is gonna become a wall, which will be really, really cool um, because it's all kind of rotten wood at the minute. You can see over here, all rotten um this used to be the barn on the side of the house so let's go inside so i want to show you the garage and show you a little bit of the progress that they've been making so they've tanked this wall we're still waiting on our velux um window kit that we got wrong um they've blocked up this window down the end and we're going to be getting a french door and we're going to be making all the walls like normal walls and then this one we're going to expose the granite Still gonna get someone to do it, but it's gonna look amazing. And then this part here, these doors are gonna go and it's just gonna be a wall. We won't need a window down this end because we've got the beautiful skylights that'll bring in loads of light and the French door. And we won't need another door because we don't need access from both sides. It means we can have a plain wall and use it that way. But I plan on doing a whole video showing you the plans for each room, starting with our bathroom because I didn't do that with the kitchen and I really wish I had done. And I think it would just be really, really helpful and interesting to show you like a floor plan, what I want to do with the room and get some, you know, samples and colors and pictures and inspiration. And I'll go through the whole garage idea. It's gonna be a gym stroke, fun room stroke, uh, movie room. And I'm really excited, but yeah, loads of progress being made. The tanking has happened. So it's nice and waterproof. The roof will continue. We're about halfway there with the roof and yeah, you just wait, this will, be an actual room one day, which will be so interesting to see that transformation happen. I cannot wait to get rid of these doors. <laughs> they are so rotten. So as you can see back here, they've started to clear the space and this wall, I didn't even realize that that was there because it was so overgrown and there was a big tree there and they've removed the tree for us. They've cut the tree down and I didn't even realize. <laughs> I literally didn't even realize that there was that there. So. We're gonna get rid of that. And the plan is to have a French door here. So it'll go right there. And we're getting it in a similar style to this. I'll put a picture on screen of our inspiration. And this whole patio, so or terrace, I think you call it. So this is gravel at the minute. We're gonna be changing it for uh, tiles or like limestone or something like that some kind of stone because the gravel means you can't walk on it without shoes on and i love to walk around barefoot so um yeah and it's also just messy i feel like it's difficult with gravel it gets so messy um so the idea is that it will all go all the way to over there and we'll remove this flower bed and probably end this flower bed here or something we haven't like properly planned a landscaping or anything yet um and then down here i kind of want the terrace to go in a bit of an l shape and go a little bit further down there potentially not 100 percent on that because logistically that might be difficult i don't know how it would work <laughs> but it's it's just an idea we do obviously have our decking over here which is great We've got all that extra space there we've also got our whole garden um but this terraced bit is quite narrow and i would love to have space for like a barbecue area with the table and everything and at the minute this table we've we've put this table here just ignore the mess 
I just I'm about to clear all this up um this table currently it with the tables around it it doesn't work we're considering selling this table and getting a um narrow rectangle one because we obviously bought this table for our old house <laughs> when I look back we spent literally like m a month or two deciding on this furniture because it was so difficult to choose and we decided on it we bought it and then about a month later we decided to move house um and we bought it with the plan of our old garden and i this basically unless we have it on the decking it doesn't fit and right now we've got that um blow up hot tub on our decking it's like if we have that hot tub there this doesn't work when you put all the chairs around it you can't fit it doesn't fit basically so we're considering switching it for a rectangle table um also not gonna lie but um we bought this furniture from kettler and about six out of eight of the chairs have already started to break which i'm very disappointed in you can see here this is broken this is broken and that's the case across pretty much at least half of them um maybe more and they if they're not broken they look like they're about to break we're definitely going to be contacting them because they're still under warranty and saying could we have our money back because these are clearly not good enough and i think that maybe when we do that we might just say can we just return the full set because the chairs don't work um and we bought it as a set so if you don't have the chairs then it doesn't really work and i wouldn't really want them to replace these chairs because clearly this is a poor design anyway that's a whole tangent i love the sofa set that we have i love that that's beautiful quality but the design of the chairs obviously something has gone wrong along the way so yeah anyway <laughs> that's a, that's a massive tangent um it's exciting this can become more of a livable space and i'm really looking forward to one day when we are able to patio this whole area make it all accessible and properly plant nice things in these flower beds because this one's kind of empty it does have bulbs that come out the tulips but um i want something a bit more permanent same goes for this side we've got all those rose bushes but um i want to like organize the the flower beds a bit better and figure them out and these planters i'm thinking about changing these planters for different ones but there's so many plans so many things like when you live in a house it's like there's so many fun ideas that you can have and this garden i've just got to accept the fact that it's I love this garden so much it's so beautiful and I have so many ideas for it like this patio area but we've got to focus on the house first and I've just got to enjoy the garden as it is now and just think I get to enjoy this garden being a bit more wild a bit more free you know it's got all these beautiful plants and trees that have been here for so long and one day I can put my stamp on it and really explore gardening and getting into that but until our house is like done um or at least done to the point where we haven't got any big plans for it then the garden's just going to have to be a secondary a secondary thing which is fine but anyway i think i'll end the video there it's about 5 6 p.m now just uploaded a video and i'm gonna i'll end the video by tidying this area up and actually showing you the windows in their full glory because i feel like that video i did not show you them in their full glory um but this area at the front has been bothering me because they moved all the furniture to do the windows and i haven't bothered to move them back and there's like stuff everywhere so i really want to move all the furniture back it's a beautiful sunny day and i'll get a nice shot of the windows oh my gosh i've just noticed the wisteria is starting to oh my gosh the wisteria is starting to die that means it's really autumn look you can see the old leaves here look they're coming off and up there they're going brown and look at our creeper it's going red I love this creeper. I think they're so, so stunning. How exciting. Like you can see how the creeper and the wisteria mesh together. So the creeper goes all the way up here and kind of blends into the wisteria. <gasps> anyway, I need to do some, do some sorting. Okay, tidied up a little bit. Now you can maybe see a little bit better what I mean about this table. Um, once you've got the chairs around it, and that's not all the chairs, we've got two more chairs. 
um, there's no room for you to pull your chair out um, there's no room for you to walk past to get to your seat so obviously it's manageable like we'll use it for now but it doesn't really work long term having the table like that you can't get to it um, just purely because of the width of this a longer rectangle table would work so much better I want to show you the proper outlook of the windows and it's actually a nice time of day to show you so here it is <laughs> it just looks so beautiful I'm over the moon and yeah I think they look absolutely incredible and I haven't actually shown you the house like this so directly but I just think it looks like those windows are always there don't you think and eventually when this garage is done we're thinking of obviously getting rid of all this bush all this stuff I'd quite like to clad it with wood so it looks like a nice wooden extension kind of thing and then we'll have a nice French door in there to get in and out which will look really lovely matching the windows and our next big job is to change our and our next big job is to sort out all of our guttering you can see the guttering here is all bowed and damaged right there and it drips when it rains heavily and that will destroy or damage the window they actually mentioned that like you need to get that guttering fixed because it will rot the window over time um and it's all gray i'd quite like the guttering to be white and you can get the kind of traditional style of guttering and also have it go down the other side like the sides of the house because it doesn't need to be going down the front of the house um same on this side and hopefully it will look a lot better and then get the fascias and soffits i think that's what they're called these bits up here replaced too because also you can see maybe you can't see but um when we moved in all the wisteria had gone through them and punched loads of little holes into the garage so that will help not you know no damp coming in or moisture coming into the house if they're replaced because they are really worse for wear and very old they'll um do that i think once they've done the garage they'll maybe do the guttering um before it gets into the winter and it rains a lot because i don't want there to be loads of water falling onto our brand new lovely windows look at roxy she's so funny she's ready for her walk but yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing that and our plans and i know gutters are really boring but even that excites me having lovely matching white gutters I just think it would make it look even better and yeah once we sort out the patio or terrace or whatever you call it and have everything properly done it's like all these little pieces coming together yay <laughs> anyway hope you enjoyed today's video and me and my lovely new windows we'll see you next time bye <laughs>